know, in modern manufacturing, uh, collaborative working, machines working closely with people, well, this is the way of the future. And autonomous mobile robots, of course, is one way to do that. I'm with Kenneth Hendrickson. He's Chief Commercial Officer of Nord Modules. Uh, Kenneth, it's, uh, we've seen many autonomous devices that move product around factory floors. And now they sort of, they dodge people, they work around people, but it's not enough just to have a platform that moves to make a factory, is it? No, that's true. You need something to put on the top of the robot to be able to bring some value into the companies. And uh, oftentimes, uh, in the past, there were not any standard modules. That is what we are bringing to the to the Mir robots right now. Uh, so the integrator or the distributors, they can easier uh, execute on their their plans and they don't have to make a lot of engineering and safety approvals so and so on. So what we bring to the market is standard modules for the Mir robots that is already safety approved. Now here at Automate 2019 we see many solutions involving palletizing, pick and place, things that take a product from assembly line and perhaps put it in a box and perhaps put that box onto a pallet but then the job is not finished there, it has to then move someplace else. Is, do you see this, is this the natural place for this technology? It is a absolutely perfect fit for moving products around inside a, a factory. Um, you, you, now you don't have to worry about uh, manually moving the products around, which can cause some safety issues and so on. So now you, you basically have a mobile robot that can work around people, and if it comes too close to a person, then it will automatically stop and uh, wait until the person is away from the uh, walkway. And in that way, it's very safe to work with, and you you take away the manual work from the people, so they don't uh, hurt their backs or something like that. Uh, and then they can do something that creates more value to the company instead of moving around the products. Uh, now, Kenneth, at Nord Modules, you make the technology that sits on top of the robot. Uh, traditionally, uh, many end users, of course, they try and buy everything in one package typically. Would normally, would, would a factory or manufacturer buy the module separately from the robot or buy them both together from an integrator? It will be a, a package uh, sold through our distributors. We sell uh, through uh, the same distributors as Mir do. So in that way, the, the end user will experience a more smooth uh, process when buying the robots where they go to uh, one place where they can get the um, they can get some advice about what the robot can be used for what kind of application they need and so on and so on so basically they just have to go one place uh, to to get their uh, robot equipment now traditionally programming robot motion of course is often a proprietary system by the robot manufacturer. In this case you have automation on top of another piece of automation. Uh, how about programming? Is programming uh, two steps? Can it all be done together? It can all be done together. You can still program the robot through the, through the tablet and that's where you program all the missions and so on where the robot should navigate to and so on. But if you need some, uh, if, if for instance if you don't have a tablet with you and you still need to stop the robot or, or clear an error, we have a small touch panel at our uh, top mover, so you can delete an error or you can either uh, change uh, the mission for, for the robots to go to another place uh, instead of the one that it was heading towards. So in that way we, you can actually navigate the robot a little bit on our touch panel. Uh, Kenneth, can a manufacturer uh, using this technology for the first time, can they take people already trained to program robot motion, for example, the pick and place robot or other machines in the factory, can they do this? Does it require special training to be able to program these systems? No, it's pretty easy to set up the robot and, and uh, if you use our manual, our quick guide, you can easily have it up running within, I would say, half an hour, then uh, you are up running, even without any uh, deep technical training. So, so in that way it's very easy for, for all people to get started. For sure there are a lot of options within this world and you can go deeper into the technical details but as a startup and to have it up running you can do that within half an hour. Kenneth Henriksen of Nord Modules says when you're thinking about autonomous mobile robots think about the technology on top of the robot. 